Okay, Saturday morning here for day one of Maitland. Um, Dad and Sam had a 6 a.m. flight to get here around 8.30 for first practice, but they didn't board the plane until 8.20. The boys made it just in time for qualifying. Parts of it felt really good, but I didn't piece a lap together where I was like, yeah, definitely that was sweet. That was legit probably worth like 30 grand. <laughs> Anyway, ended up 10th, P10, so for where I started, like that's pretty good. Like that result's solid. And at certain times of the race, I think Alex and Luke were watching at home and they said that it was, um, I was like the third fastest guy on a certain lap or something. So speed's pretty good. The track's good. I was racing it well. I felt solid, felt fit. So yeah, just try to do the same thing tomorrow, but with a good start and improve just minor things. We're not gonna change a whole lot. Um, and I think I should be able to battle up with those boys. I don't know where I'll finish. I'm not going to stress too much on the exact, exact result. But as long as I, yeah, just do everything I just said, I should actually be able to be in the battle with the boys and annoy as many of them as I can. <laughs> Day two here at Maitland. We, um, we're just getting geared up now for a nine o'clock practice. And then Moto 1 is 1 p.m. So we've got a massive break in between. Um, if I got super pole, that would have been in between, but I didn't make it, so a um, bit of a break in between. So really, we're going to go out now and just try to warm the body up, because this one's a 10 minute off. Um, just like check the track out, see what it is, because I think it was a full re-prep from yesterday. So it'll be interesting. I think I'm just going to try to take a bunch of different lines and see where they're starting to form. Even though I know the track's going to be way different at one o'clock, at least I'll sort of get a base idea of how it's going to form. Um, then come back, get out of the gear, relax I think, and then yeah, like I said, 1 o'clock, Moto 1, 25 plus 1, and then I think it's around 4 o'clock, we got another 25 plus 1, so just, um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty cruisy day to start with, but go check the track out now and hopefully they prepped it good again. How was that? Slippery. Slippery? Really slippery. But yeah, those conditions are my kryptonite apparently. I just feel so uncomfortable. Yeah. You know they're not your favourite? Mm. It's a massive lineup because it's muddy today.
and just like that the sun's come out it's Happy a sunny man. day <laughs> Okay, so sun's come out. We, um, I'm pumped with that. It's actually a little bit warm right now, it's sitting in the sun. Um, so I think the track should be sweet. It was a little bit wet this morning, so the sun's gonna be like perfect thing for it. We still got about 20 minutes, I think, until we actually take off for the moto. So if it sits and bakes in that sun, it should be good because MX2 moto, I noticed um, that was just catching guys off guard everywhere. There were so many little crashes and it's like the guys look like they're in full control then all of a sudden they're gone. And it's just like the track here is actually pretty tacky, like almost full traction to just zero. It's like you got the tacky spot then you just see the shiny bit and you just watch them, they're like full control and then the front's just gone or the rear's gone or whatever. So I think this should hopefully, those dry spots will get dry and hard and that's always better. Um, those hard spots, I mean, sorry, should get drier. And if they're dry and hard, it's not too bad. It's when they're wet and hard that it's sort of just super sketchy but um yeah and go out now we got this whole shot button thing sorted so I'm gonna go pull start So the rain's come and gone, uh, poured down rain. We just went and checked out the track for MX2 Moto. And she's super slick out there, but the sun's actually properly out now. So I'm hoping it'll tack up a little. It's gonna be slippery, there's no way around that. But hopefully it'll tack up a little bit. Um, and then just talking about different things I can do. Cause that last moto, I'm super unhappy with it. But I'm not gonna harp on about it. Um, it's a lot of the same stuff that I've said on here a million times that I gotta work on. So. Um, instead of going and repeating myself, uh, just going to focus on some stuff that we can do better. Um, number one, don't hit the gate off the start. Um, so sit back a little bit off that. 
it's a slow dropping gate, so I just jumped too quick actually. So we're gonna get back a little bit further um, and then just really try to get these elbows up and be strong. Um, doesn't matter if I feel uncomfortable, try to get aggressive and just do the best I can. Just race corner to corner, um, go faster, as fast as I can go and try to just focus on lap times, drop the lap times. If I ride fast, then obviously you'll get a good result. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get ready, I think about 10 minutes till I have to be up there. So chuck a helmet on and let's go. Frustrating. 